Aloha and welcome to the Kapuna Wiki Radio Show. This month we'll be talking about health and wellness. And in studio we have Dr. Sandy Shanti of Whole Body Wellness Clinic. Kapuna Wiki is Hawaii's senior resource. We talk to the best local professionals in the state regarding topics such as real estate, senior housing, estate planning, finance, and health. So our Kapuna families can find the best resources in the midst of a life transition. We strive to make sure our seniors are informed and supported every step of the way. Thanks for joining us again today. I'm Brandon Lau. And I'm Andrew Leo your host for the Kapuna Wiki Radio Show. Our title sponsor for today is Cheney Brooks Choice Advisors, providing you with the best real estate information so you can make the most informed decisions. As they like to say, real estate is about choice. To contact him, call 753-9033. And now we have our Real Estate Tip of the Week brought to you by Cheney Brooks Choice Advisors. As much as you try to improve the interior of your home for sale, buyers have already judged your home before they walk through the front door. Sprucing up the exterior of your home to make buyers feel welcome and safe as they first approach the house will be well worth your investment. Make sure your make sure your address numbers your address numbers address number excuse me can be easily seen from the street. Trim overgrown trees and scrub, scrubs uh, away from the walkway, windows, and the front door. Typically, exterior improvements such as these, in addition to fresh new paint, will capture more return upon the sale than interior projects. For more information on how to best present your property, please contact Cheney Brooks Choice Advisors at 753-9033. Again, today we have in the studio Dr. Sandy Shanti, chiropractor and doctor of science and medicine at Whole Body Wellness Clinic. Welcome back, Dr. Shanti. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. <laughs> it's good to have you back again. Uh, well, for those who haven't heard you before, maybe you can tell us a, a little bit about your clinic and, and what is it that you do? Well, it's a whole body wellness clinic. I, yeah, I am a chiropractor. I've been a chiropractor for over 20 years now, but I also have a degree in pastoral science and medicine. So I look at the body as a whole, because right. if we don't look, you know, if, we, if I'm just looking at the spine, you know, that does affect the, the immune system and the um, brain cognitive and nervous system. But I need to look at the whole body. I need to look at, at you know, your rest, your exercise, your um, diet. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in order to get the body well, we have to look clear down to the cells. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we can't get the body well. So I look at, you know, positive uh, social uh, attitudes. I look at mm -hmm. um, support of what you have in your family, mm -hmm. exercise, and, and um, you know, chiropractic. You know, you got to clear that nervous system out. So. Well, you definitely cover a breadth of things. <laughs> I and sure do. I'll just say, uh, I, I think not every doctor would be prepared for that because they like the simple in-a-box diagnosis and how they can treat it, but you seem to treat so many different aspects and it's difficult to bring it all together right. into one actionable thing that your, your patient can do. Right? Well, everybody's different, right. so when they walk through the door, I have no idea what I'm coming up with. That's why a really great history is very important and to be able to sit and take that time to listen to the client because they're going to tell us what's going on. Right. A lot of times, um, you know, unfortunately, mm -hmm. insurance makes it worse. Most doctors, you know, they get five, seven, or ten minutes with a patient and that's it. Right. You know, so they're not able to really hear. Right. And you have to really know what you're going to ask your patients. Right. You know, you have to hear what they're saying and be able to ask them to kind of repeat what's going on with them so that you know, so you can treat the symptom, mm -hmm. not, not the, you, well, you don't want to, you, you're going to treat the cause, cause right. find out what the cause is, right. and, and that should help treat the symptom. Right. And, you know, when they come in, they're usually coming in because pain or discomfort. Pain and discomfort's the last thing that shows. Mm -hmm. And when you're working with somebody, it's usually one of the first things that go away. Right but you still have to continue to heal it down, clear down to the cellular level. Mm -hmm. So um, it really is taking the time with the clients. Yeah. Now I've heard your story before, but I, I hope you can share it with us again on how you became a practitioner in this field. Well, I had gotten sick. Right. I worked, um, I had been, I grew up in the new and used appliance business and I was around chemicals cleaning up, that, all the caustic chemicals. I went to the military and I was on the nuclear biological decontent team <laughs> and in aviation. I got out, I worked at uh, making you know big generators, emergency generators, so I was around chemicals there, diesels. And then I ended up in the oil refinery as a process plant operator. And you signed and a lot of waivers before you started working in <laughs> all those places. Yeah. <laughs> and I was a, a trained industrial firefighter mm -hmm. and I got covered in a lot of chemicals. So at the age of 30, I got sick 
and ended up bedridden for three years. The medical doctor said, you know, you're not going to live till you're 40. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. Put your, you know, air, your effects in order. Wow. And so I started reading on the on the body, you know, and vitamins and nutritions and, and science, and I just, one book after another after another, ended up, you know, finishing an associates in science, went on to my bachelor's. Doctors told me, you know, you need to go to medical school and um, for older returning students. And I said, okay, and they, I had a seat. Um, when they started it two years, you know, I had to wait two years, so right. they said, find a good osteopathic or chiropractic college that's duly accredited. So I went there. Now, I was still sick, because mm -hmm. you just don't miraculously get well from being so toxic. Right. And while I was at chiropractic school, during that process, uh, receiving chiropractic adjustments, changing my diet, mm -hmm. I got well. Mm -hmm. And I got passion. And I'm thinking, well, why am I going to give somebody a bunch of medications mm -hmm. to cover up a symptom mm -hmm. when chiropractors look at the cause? Mm -hmm. And so um, I graduated in the late 90s, and I have just been adjusting people ever since. That's great. And usually it is the case that our personal path will generate a passion. Absolutely. And that's what we share with other people. Absolutely. So let's fast forward to present day. Um, yes, you're still doing chiropractic care, but what are things that you've done to evolve your practice, to help treat the whole body? Well, I went from, um, I went started, I started to look at the cells, mm -hmm. okay? So I went into doing a true um, cellular detox. Okay. And that's a, that's a plan program. A lot of people think, oh, I'm gonna detox. I'm mm -hmm. gonna, and they do this cleanse or thing for the weekend and they feel great for a little bit and then they get really sick. Mm -hmm. And the deal of it is, is that that's a cleanse, that's not a detox. So um, you have to have proper binders to come in and grab those things. It's gonna go past the blood barrier mm -hmm. and the blood brain barrier to get well. So after years and years and years of studying, I finally come up with a really good binder to use in this, in this protocol. Mm -hmm. So I utilize that. We brought in a lot of weight. People have weight issues mm -hmm. because they don't know what to eat. Mm -hmm. And so brought in a lot of counseling about weight and different weight programs mm -hmm. depending on what people are, are needing. And um, you know, people talk about, oh, the keto, this and the, that and that. And it's like some people cannot have that. So I've also brought in and studied on um, you know, the molecules. If our molecules are not working properly in our body, then we are never gonna get well. So I brought in the magnosphere and magnosphere therapy, which talks to the molecules, and it knows the difference in between the brain and the bone and the heart and the lungs. And so I brought that in. It's a machine that's cutting edge science. You used to have to go to university, um, research university to utilize it. So I have that in my office, and I bring that in. I've used that for depression, for PTSD, for back pain, for, I had a kidney stone, I used it for that. Okay. A gout, um, you know, so it, it has well over 300 different programmable things depending on what's going on with your health. And if that doesn't work, set up a heart monitor and we find out where your stress is so that we can bring the parasympathetic and the sympathetic together so we're not fighting each other. That's intriguing. So, so it, this magnosphere mm -hmm. treats somebody on the molecular level. Yes. Um, can you break it down into simple science? Simple. So, somebody like me. Okay. <laughs> so it's really easy. So right. everything vibrates. Okay. We're sitting in a chair right now. It right. feels solid, but it's actually vibrating. Its molecules mm -hmm. vibrate at certain frequencies. So when we become underneath stress, it's not just us, our muscles tightening up and our heart rate getting different. Mm. Literally, from stress, our molecules become erratic. So they're just kind of bouncing around over here and there. What this machine does is it gently talks and it talks to each molecule and it nudges it back into the vibration where it's supposed to be, mm. okay? So it's very specific depending on what, what I input into the system for that. Right. And so once the body is taken out of stress, and put into a relaxed state or homeostasis, mm -hmm. that's where the body can actually heal itself. Wow, that's mm -hmm. pretty incredible. It's, it, it, it's almost like science fiction stuff, but it's real. It's real. And it's in itself. your office. It's in my <laughs> office, yep. The, the, the company, Magnuscutical Health, is so, um, you know, it's backed. I mean, the, the owner of the company is an attorney, mm -hmm. and they know that this works so well that they literally allow us as doctors to give a complimentary session, one hour session away to our clients mm -hmm. because they are that set. Now, one session, 
you know, a lot of people notice a difference. Mm -hmm. The true therapeutic session would be like a succession package. Mm -hmm. Some people need 10, depending on what's, what's going on right. with their bodies. So mm -hmm. that would be a, a nice offer to your, to your listeners today. Right. They That'd can contact the office and they can set up for That'd a one awesome. hour complimentary session. Share with us, how, how can they reach you and where is your office? Uh, my office is up in Makiki. Okay. I've got a nice home office. I've been there for about 10 years. Okay. Um, my phone number is 808-538-0944, mm -hmm. or they can go to the website at docshanti, D-O-C-S-H-A-N-T-I dot com, and look through there and learn more about the magnosphere. Well, Dr. Shanti, I know there's um, also a lot more that you treat people for, and I want you to share with us right after this next break, what are some of the common things that you're having to help people with, you know, these days? Sure. Be Talk happy to. Talk more about that right after this commercial break. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we have Dr. Sandy Shanti, chiropractor and doctor of science and medicine at Whole Body Wellness Clinic. Uh, in the first segment, uh, we kind of talked about uh, you know your the whole body um, mm -hmm. and and you know that you just treat the whole body, not just a particular area. Um, Want to you know, and Brandon mentioned, brought it up in the before the commercial break. Uh, what what kind of symptoms or uh, issues have, have you been dealing with lately that uh, are, are kind of getting more common now and uh, as as people age uh, what can they um, look forward to coming you know coming up against and so that way they can maybe prepare for well I've had a lot of shoulder issues coming up mm -hmm. actually I was at the Okinawan festival um, this past weekend watching one of my clients uh, dance mm -hmm. and uh, you know she she's 84 and just a beautiful beautiful woman and she had hurt her shoulder but in her group a lot of her friends have been passed away and you get to that age and so she really thought oh this shoulder injury 